Kettle Moraine School District is being sued over a policy allowing students to change their names and gender pronouns at school without parental consent. The parents of a 12 year old girl say the school district violated their constitutional rights by using a male name and male pronouns to address their daughter at school without their approval. They argue the school district adopted a policy that disregards parents' decisions in this matter. Fox 6 reached out, but the school district, they declined the comment. After a Fox 6 investigation, a school administrator is on leave, the police are involved, and school leaders are pausing a pricey education tool. Now they're asking the question that typically comes before signing the contract. Does it actually deliver? Here's our Amanda St. Hilaire. Easy to make. We're building a stronger student. Hard to keep. It was too ambitious. Every school program promises to help your kids. Avid's transformative effect. School boards promise to protect your tax dollars. I can tell we are starting to lose trust. But as those promises get bigger, who's making sure they deliver? And if you're not trying to find out why. In 2019, Wisconsin made headlines with the nation's largest test score gap between black and white students. These are gaps that are long standing, going back hundreds of years in our country. People need to realize that these are real children. So school boards pay attention when a program promises to narrow those gaps. And can show you proof. For a price. AVID, Advancement via Individual Determination, is a college and career readiness program. It's in thousands of schools, including ones in Wisconsin. No one from AVID called us back, but the website says its mission is to close the opportunity gap. That's a lot right there. There's an elective class focused on study skills, tutoring, college applications. The goal is to eventually work those strategies into all classrooms. Districts pay the nonprofit for materials, licenses, training. Wauwatosa School District signed a $170,000 contract over three years. But the honeymoon ended before year one did. I'm not really sure why no one wants to talk about it. A Fox 6 investigation revealed Assistant Superintendent Kristen Bowers pushed Avid, her husband's employer. You've really done a good service with your journalism. Thank you. Now the district is asking, is AVID worth the cost? School districts seem to jump on these bandwagons every three or four years. We can't continue to roll out programs that ultimately don't work out in the schools. If you compare similar groups of students, research in multiple districts shows AVID students graduate and go to college at higher rates and have higher GPAs. This does work in Madison. But not everywhere. Students who had been an AVID were actually performing no better academically um, in their courses during their freshman year. And this is where it gets tricky. What you point out is always a challenge in education research. Students can't just sign up for AVID study skills class. They have to apply. The AVID model is to treat students in the academic middle. Typically BNC students. The selection process also considers ethnicity, parents' education, and the most important question. Do the students have the motivation to succeed? So are those AVID students doing well because of the program or because they were already motivated? Wabatosa emails discuss rejecting AVID applicants because they're not the right fit. Public records show students of color are accepted, but they're also turned away. That's where we start to go, ooh, time out. West Alice, West Milwaukee. Evan started for us in one of our schools um, years ago. Is now reevaluating. Fulfilling the program's promise of reaching all classrooms took more resources than expected. Then you've spent a lot of time and money on something that's not going to have its foothold for all kids. Now Wabatosa. We don't have the professional capacity. Is doing the same. Can't those things be done sort of DIY outside of AVID for a much lower price tag? I urge the district to spend that money instead on their teachers. The issues that students of color have if they're in a predominantly white high school are not about a lack of study skills. Notice no one's saying AVID is a bad program, but it's not an easy fix or a cheap one, or for everyone. And that's why researchers caution the promise of eliminating opportunity gaps. That's probably more than you can ask from one program. Is a lot easier to make 
than it is to keep. Amanda St. Hilaire, Fox 6 Investigators. Now we asked several school administrators enthusiastic about AVID to go on camera. They all said no. We also asked districts to let us bring a camera into an AVID class, talk to teachers and families about their experiences with the program. None took us up on that either. The Fox 6 investigators will continue this conversation on their podcast, Open Record. Make sure to subscribe today to get the episode as soon as it's ready.